Hey guys, um, just wanted to share with you this short dream about last night, and just kind of just get it out there. But it was over the dream last night was. I just my wife and I sometimes would be like, "Hey, honey, what time is it?" You know. I just asked the Lord. I said, "What time is it?" He said, seven, seven. I'm like, still putting that together this morning. But it goes along with the season that we're in, guys. It really is a season. My wife said, it's a season of rest, of grace, because he wants us to depend on him, to turn to him goes along with what he had been dealing with me over the past couple days about the blood of the lamb and during the ancient time when when they had to apply it to the bullet to the door to keep the death angel out but he took, was dealing with me that we need to apply the blood to the doorpost of our heart and guard our heart because there's so much pollution going on out there, guys. It's like, I'll put it into natural terms, but I'm fixing to go into the spiritual side too because it's both, really. The enemy is coming against us in the natural because you can't win in the spiritual. So everybody's into swirly politics and sides and it's not, it's not, a Democrat or a Republican way, Jesus is the only way. His son, God's plan. There's only but one way. But this is, this is, with my grandkids, I'll hold out my hand like this and they'll look at my hand. I'll take my other hand and whack them in the back of the head. Not hard, you know, just kind of pat them, honestly. <clears throat> well, I'll be like, you didn't see that coming, did you? That's what the devil's doing to us, guys. And the 7-7 seven, seven is it's time to just do it. What's God showing you? What's he telling you? I got half a dozen things. Some of them like, man, God, I don't even know how I'm get to some of this stuff. And plus, you know, some of the people that he's highlighted in it. It's like, man, everybody's... Because some of them are frontline soldiers. Like, man, they're really, really busy. Well, they're about their father's business, but still, I don't want to be a distraction either. And it's like, so I'm kind of some stuff to really pray about. But it's time, guys. Let's just face it, guys, okay? It's like my wife and I were talking when it's been a while back. But, and I was like, honey, I said, it's like the city dump. How many of y'all been to the city dump? Do a 360. You're standing at the top of the hill at the city dump. Everywhere you go, stinky trash. Look, bags, whatever. That's what we're living in right now, guys. A time of just pollution and dilution and just lies and just vicious, evil people that the enemy's using. And of course, some of them are gone. Now I can pray for everybody, but to a point, but I also got to realize that some of them are, some of us are wheat and some of us are tares. Some of them aren't going to listen at all. They're not going to make it even maybe probably, I, you know, that's in the Bible, guys. It's the marriage supper of the lamb. Look what happened to the people that didn't pay any attention to, to the calling. The five wise and the five foolish. Why do you think that's in there, guys? Why did he say when they knocked at the door, some of them knocked at the door, depart from me for your work was of iniquity. It's in the Bible, guys. If you don't like those pages, just, you know, tear them out. You'll have a holy Bible, all right? It'd be so full of holes, you won't even recognize it. The Bible is the Word of God. It's time, guys. I'm just breaking this down, natural and spiritual, because it's necessary. Look. Guys, just look. 
we may not even have an election, guys, honestly. And even if we do, everybody's going to be... Whether you're a, a Trump supporter or a Trump hater, or whether you're a Democratic supporter or a Democratic hater, pretty much, let's just break it down, guys. All this garbage. It's divisive. It's a distraction. It's a hand up here. And the enemy's whacking us in the back of the head. You have to steal, kill, and destroy. Why do we have to wait till November 8th? To do something about this. This is not going to be a theology, guys. This is a neology. This is an action, a call to action. That's the time that we're living in a 7 7. It's time. The devil's run loose through this country, guys. It's like a bull running loose. It's a demonic force running loose through the land. And everybody's sitting there strategizing and thinking and scratching their head. And what do they do? We need some people to just. Jump the fence, run to the bowl, and wrestle that demon to the ground. It's going to be ugly, blood, snot, whatever. That's why it's time to weep and pray between the porch and the altar. Because, yes, guys, we're in a world of trouble, but not if we turn it over to Jesus. Not if we turn it over to God. Not if we turn it over to the Holy Ghost. Not if we dig into his word. That's what he's trying to teach us, guys. And all this. To depend on him. And not on ourselves. We've got to get out of this. It's, it's the scripture in the Bible... A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. A house divided can't stand. <clears throat> We're so divided, guys. Politics seems to be one of the biggest spears and wedges and things that the enemy is using right now. <clears throat> it was before the coronavirus. I was in prayer and the Lord said, Do you think that the church was on a power trip? Wait till you see what the world does with it. And you got people, they're not even, they're city council people, low, low level. I don't know if I should say that or not, but anyhow, you get the point. In the government, defunding the police, wiping them out, trying to wipe them out. Guys, it kind of goes back to, to what I was saying earlier about this demon that's just a demonic force that are running rampant through the land. I have a good friend that's a, that's a cop. And it was right after the Dallas police shootings. And he said, everybody was running from it. But we're, we're trained to run to it. What's God telling you guys to do? <clears throat> Let's not wait till November 8th. Why? Give me a reason why. Comment on it. Let's hear it. There isn't a reason why. Honestly. What does it matter if you check a paper box, paper ballot? Or, well, it's now it's on the computer, but you check a box. Some people just check all of them. They vote. Democrat, they vote Republican, and they, or whatever, you check a box for president, and everybody's all like, your vote matters and all this. Well, guys, you know, it's back to that garbage dump, look around, does it really? Right now, no. It doesn't. So why are we even twisted up into that mess? I did too, I got caught up in it too. And I'm gonna, you know, openly repent. And secretly repent. But it's time to change, guys, and to turn from our wicked ways. And let's get real, guys. The biggest, one of the biggest demonic sins that's facing us as a nation is the abortion issue, guys. Let's just be real. Let's just get this straight. There's a bunch of them, and they're all, there's no bigger or little, but that's, 
Yet there is. Because it's the, it's the, it's the death of the unborn. The silent majority. Where do you think all this stuff keeps coming from? These spirits that are just manifesting. Non-essential, silent, shut up. You don't like my political views? We'll shoot you. Well, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the, the guy's name. I, I meant to write it down. But that older black man that was in, I forget, I think it was Minneapolis, um, that was killed right after he got on one of the news medias about, about promoting President Trump. And, and, you know, people just twisted that up and went, Psh. What we failed to see, guys, and that's where I'm coming from with this, is, is is the reality of the spirit and the spirit. Yeah, you had a, a sign there, pro-Trump, okay? So yeah, half, half you can be mad, half you can be glad. I don't care. But what was right next to him on the other side? A sign, and some of them you can barely see it. Matthew 25, I think it was 12. I'd have to look it up. I looked up that scripture. It's a good scripture. He was promoting God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word just as much as he was promoting the president. Nobody, nobody, that's, that's that hand up here and you get whacked in the back of the head. Hello? Wow, I could have had a V8. It's an old commercial. Some of y'all might remember it. That Verizon commercial, I put out that message. Can you hear me now? It's time, guys. Don't wait. Why wait? Let's not just pray this in. Let's 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 act. What God is telling you to do. There's some things that are going to be like, wow, okay, God, that's pretty, pretty challenging at, at best. But I've got to be obedient. This is some of the things he's telling me to do. He doesn't want it sensationalized and all this other because that's what happened. Everybody wants to make this grandstand YouTube on the news video. Everybody wants to go to the, the, to the president's office and pray for him and be flashed on the, on the big screen how important they are. I'm sorry, guys. What he wants is your availability, not your ability. Might be in the late, cool of morning, early. That's mine, that's why I'm pretty ab, but I'm also having about the 5 a.m. because that's what he told me to do, call the nation as a, together as, to pray at 5 a.m. in the morning. Five is a time of grace. Early in the morning, there's nothing going on. You have to look at my ugly mug on YouTube or your Facebook or you pick up your phone or check your messages. This, that, 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 honestly, guys, that's why I put that out there about the wizards that peep and mutter and moan. Who are we barking the loudest about? Technology people, money people, politics people. Where's Jesus in all this, guys? We want our nation back. We want our country back. Let's put him back hearts. That's why it's very important that we guard our hearts with the blood of the Lamb so that we can see and rightly divide the word so that we when we try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord, we, we're doing it from that. Not just because we want to, we're in the flesh, carnality. We got here because we just let it go, guys. So are we gonna let it go? Are we gonna get up and do something about it? 
I, you know, this is my, it seems minor, but it's not. There's a reason why I don't do it. Why? It has nothing to do with health, and it's just a cheesy, cheap, look at them. They're cheesy, cheap cloth masks. They're nothing, really. They're not going to do anything. I don't care, you know, I'm not a scientist, but my God, guys, give me a break. But it's the spirit behind it. Why I don't wear one. And mostly everybody that's promoting it so much is wanting to promote the fear and most of their their heart is blasting the abortion issue, the gay issue. Why why is it all these things, guys? The perversion, the why is it, guys? If I'll, I'll just break this down. This is probably not a very nice way to say it, maybe. I don't know. But to some of these people that are really so adamant about the abortion, aren't you glad your parents were pro-choice? You might not be here for this argument. Does your life not matter? Of course it does. So why are these unborn children's lives not matter? It's just a blob. Okay, fine, great. That's, you know, throw out the science piece of it. it. It makes no sense, you know. Then, fine. Then take me to a late-term abortion clinic and film it. See, I don't want to see that hate, that just, I don't want to see that heinous loss of a life. But if you're so adamant about it, then do that. Let's see, go. No, you won't. You're gutless, honestly. Bark about it and want to shove it down people's throats. That's where we're, that's where we're, that's where, that's where we need to repent, guys. We've been a nation that's of death, honestly. Idolizing it. Now it's kill everybody, you know, steal, kill, and destroy. What is it now? You know, the media is full of, you know, some dumb woman had a sign, my heroes are people that kill police or whatever, you know, it's like murder and mayhem. Guys, whether you saved or not saved in church or not, does that make any sense defunding the police and taking taking out the laws of the land. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Come on, let's get real, guys. It's time. And I'm talking to the Christian people because, because that's who God called me to be. But I'm talking to everybody, too. Whether you agree with me, disagree with me, fine, great, awesome. I'm telling you, you better you better agree with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, because this storm has hit and it's starting, and it's time to choose. So are you gonna guard your heart with the blood of the Lamb, or are you gonna let sin just run rampant through your heart and spit out puke and vomit and trash, and garbage? And your thoughts and your opinions. Why do, why do so many people get aggravated at the news? Because all it is is a bunch of... There's one lady say it's a bunch of talking heads. Blah, 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 blah. Fill you with just pollution. And dilution. And that's why the 5 a.m. prayer is so important, guys. Because you're not... It's, it's, there's, there's nothing... But you and God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, if you choose that, people are in there. We're just being ignorant, guys. Honestly, me too. I said I got caught up and sucked into that, trying not to. I hate this social media garbage, honestly. Even the name. Social distancing, social media, social... So, what? All you hear about... Look, 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 back to the dump thing. All you hear about is the coronavirus, the election, the Democrats versus the Republicans. Man, let's cut through all that baloney, guys. There's just some really evil people.
pushing this stuff. And it goes back to one of their biggest stances, but the other ones are the, you know, the anything goes. But the abortion is, is the big thing that's destroying this land because it's ushering in all this other stuff. We're letting it. I'm sorry. To burst everybody's bubble. A, f a friend of mine, a pastor friend of ours, posted this about about that, how we've taken out a generation through abortion. And it clicked because six months ago, the Lord told me that we've lost a generation as a church. It was both. We've taken the lives of a generation and we've destroyed the lives of a generation with all this swirly, twirly, goofy, I don't say goofy Christianity. The cat, I call it the Captain Crunch Christianity. Looks good. Bright yellow. Smells good. Tastes good. Brilliant box. Sometimes you even get a surprise in there. There's nothing there. No nutritional value. It's actually harmful to you. The Bible's not. Your prayer life is not. Your communication with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word is not. God set it up with His Son and the blood of the Lamb so that you could have access to the throne, to God that created the heaven and the earth. He wanted you back to commune with us. So let's do this, guys. No more. Are you going to guard your heart with the blood of the Lamb and the doorposts of your heart? Or are you just going to live in this trash pile in the city dump and not expect to have garbage hanging off your head? Love you guys. Uh,